Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to utilize the pulling power of vacuum in order to collapse crater that is formed in the management of the soft cataract. Let's take a look at this patient. I'm creating a few direct chop maneuvers in the soft cataract. However, it does not go too well. I end up with a crater formation. The first thing I do is that because of my hydro delineation, I was able to lift off the central core of the nucleus. Once this has been emulsified, I just have a crater in the center with a peripheral rim of thick cortical and epinuclear tissue, which are all I have to do is to collapse it. As I'm trying to aspirate it with my phaco probe, the pieces are not able to move away from the periphery and come down to the center. I'm just getting small bites of the bits of epinucleus and peripheral cortex, but I'm not able to generate a vacuum strong enough to pull it in. The three steps to collapse a soft crater shell therefore is First and foremost, one should not use power at all because even small amount of power will cause cheese wiring. Second is orient the bevel to the piece to ensure tip occlusion because only after tip occlusion will the vacuum build up and there will be a double ping noise that you can hear when occlusion has occurred. Now finally, step three is you have to give time for the vacuum to build. Now this is actually called the rise time. This will be faster if you have set a high AFR. And in softer cataracts, because we set lower AFR, we need to wait a fraction more. The full rise of vacuum to preset can be noted on the console and your OT sister can let you know that you've achieved the full vacuum. The failure to hold occurs because we've inadvertently given phaco power or trying to draw the piece either before full occlusion occurs or before the vacuum builds up to the preset levels. If we waited sufficiently long and allowed the hold to build then we can remove the piece much easier let's see this in actual practice in the same case so once i realize that the pieces are not having a great followability i give time for the vacuum to build up the bevel is placed in such a way that the piece occludes the tip of the bevel and once sufficient time is given for the vacuum to build and with no phaco power at all I'm able to pull this piece to the center and then emulsify it. Because this is not a great magic. This is the capacity and capability of the FACO machine itself. It's just that we should know how to use it to its maximum advantage so that we can get great results in handling different grades of nucleosclerotic cataract. Most of us tend to forget about the rise time. We believe the minute we go into position two, the vacuum is active. We forget about tip occlusion and these simple basics will enable you to get out of tricky situations that can occur. Thank you for your attention.